Hi guys, this is Loco. I'm going to show you another random video. This one is a bunch of records I just picked. They weigh heavy. I'll just close my eyes and pick them. So let's see what we got now. Starting out with... Oh! Crikey. Eric Burden and the Animals. An imported album. Wow. Okay. We can do that. The Best of the Animals. Okie dokie. Another Best of. Yeah, well... A lot of compilations were made on the animals. I referred to the animals. Any more of the animals? Yeah, of course. The best of the animals. The one that's a single album, Gatefold, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood, House of the Rising Sun. Hey, wow, look who's here. Roy Orbison on Monument. Roy Orbison's greatest hits. Wow. Old one, Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. This is probably one of my oldest records that I have from 55, 56 on King Label. He had good songs. And he had a baby. I love the jukebox on that one. Hey, how about this band? Band from actually where I live. Baltimore, Maryland's own Kicks. This is a sealed copy of Chris Tetley British import picture disc. Steve Whitman on the cover. I always liked Kicks. They were pretty, you know, funny band when it comes to their song titles, lyrics. Even though they're a very good band, I really enjoyed their kind of ACDC-ish brand of of hard rock, if you want to call it rock and roll. First album, Cool Kids, cutout album. Actually, I heard that one of the guys in Kicks, I don't know if it's the, one of the guitar players, actually now is doing billboards here in the Baltimore area. Steve Whitman has a band. This is a great album. This is a German import of um, Midnight Dynamite, where he's only a stick of dynamite. This is an album that I got. It made me get into Kicks big time. Love this album. My favorite, even though yeah, of course, this is the one that you know, hit platinum for them, which was Blow My Fuse with Don't Close Your Eyes. It has a lot of great songs. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a great album too. But I, I my favorite is Midnight Dynamite. Hey, the Easy Beats. A compilation Friday on my mind or big hits of course this was uh, released on Rhino as you guys know these guys are a brother and I think uncle of none other than Angus and Malcolm Young of ACDC oh speaking of you see at least we read the collectors are manic when it comes to alphabetizing things and organizing them and things so I did this by family and look who I put next to them ACDC with high voltage I don't have all ACDC albums, but you know what I have is good. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Big Balls is on this Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. A lot of good songs. Hey, ACDC Let There Be Rock. Bon Scott on the cover. Priceless. This one, their live album recorded in, I think, uh, Glasgow, Scotland, where the uh, Angus and Malcolm are originally from. If you want blood, you got it. Now, my favorite ACDC album of all time, regardless if it's Bon Scott or Brian Johnson, is this one I'm going to show you, Power Age. This is a great album. This album has a sound to it that, man, these songs like Down Payment Blues, Riff Raff, Sin City, love this record. Sounds great. Of course, one of their big hits, Highway to Hell, the last album Bon did before passing away. Great album, too, of course. Now, these are, I'm assuming this is, yeah, it is, of course, the huge mega hit with Brian Johnson back in black. Hello, Sabat Rock, we salute you. I love this album, and actually, I owned, I don't have it anymore, the Spanish one that has the inverted colors on the cover. It was black, and then kind of like this gold cover. I know it's highly collectible, don't have it. I play this album to the hills. I fly on the wall, I played them all like this album though, I know this album is not one of their most highly anticipated or recognized of ACDC, but I always enjoyed it. Oh, two copies of it. Oh, yeah, sometimes that happens. You buy two copies of an album. This is what their uh, compilation first made with Brian Johnson, Who Made Who, Stephen King sound, uh, movie soundtrack. Yeah, blow up your video. Blow up your video. Heat Seeker, yeah, cool song. And uh, this one I got, it's a compilation of when Brian Johnson was in his band from Newcastle. And as you guys know, 
people from Newcastle are affectionately called Geordies. This was this is Brian Johnson singing with Jordy, and uh, of course it's a different style of hard rock. Still pretty interesting. I like it. You know, it's different. It's not ACDC, but Brian has a definitely great set of pipes on him. Those were random collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great one. This is Loco saying peace. <laughs>